Good day all. Welcome to Orbit Farm. It's been quite some time. I've just been a bit busy. I can't say I've been busy, but I've been under the weather. The flu has been killing me for the past weeks. That's why I've been quite quiet on creating content. But it's not that anything really was bad. It's just that I've just been sick. The flu has was really with me. But now I'm okay. And we're back at the farm and we are in the broilers. As I say, this is my steady piece of income. And these broilers are in their fifth week now, entering their sixth week. They're actually in their sixth week. This is the five weeks, two days mark. And as you can see, they're already on slaughter size. We've already, today, we've started slaughtering most of them. And these ones are the ones that were left that will slaughter at six weeks. Why we do that is so that we give the ones that we feel that are small a little bit of time to grow. And that growth is just in like one more week. But right now I know that if I was to kill these chickens as they are, they will be at the, at the correct weight that I actually do want them to be. But I just prefer just to leave a few that I believe are the smaller ones. So these are the smaller chickens that we have. I was asked the questions about the diseases that chickens, these chickens normally face. Most of them are very, there are very few which broilers face but i'll try my best to explain the ones that i do know um, and these ones will be ab about there's normally about five but most of these are actually vaccinated during birth i'm sorry during the egg stage and after they've just been hatched so this is normally done in incubators by people who incubate these eggs the most of the one that is which are which affect these ones but the one that is very common that people normally get is coccidiosis. Coccidiosis is whereby there will be um, passing stool which has got blood. So that blood stool that they will be passing is normally caused by your bedding. Your bedding is not dry, your bedding is wet and the water that you are giving them is not clean. Those are the things that normally work help, um, cause co coccidiosis. So coccidiosis, once you see it are being affecting your chickens, you really need to make sure that you first you remove the bedding, two, you you actually put um you clean your you make sure that the water that you're actually then providing for them for the next weeks is actually very very clean water that has actually been purified so that we can, you can actually get healthier birds. Without that, you will find out that your birds will continuously keep on dying. But normally, first thing, the signs that actually come out is them passing out um, feces which have got blood in them. And that's when you should actually start noticing that this is a sign of coccidiosis. And coccidiosis, if not, if left on its own, will cause the birds to die. So you need to make sure that you actually give um you clean your your place this is about your cleanliness which causes coccidiosis and your bedding so those two things will be your major factors about it and also your water another disease that these birds also suffer is infectious bronchitis this is i hope i've pronounced it correctly if i haven't I've, i'll write it up there the correct wording this is normally caused by also, again, about being in an area where your chickens are dusty. They will start coughing, sneezing, and this coughing, sneezing is normally cause, causing the birds to, one, not consume a lot of food because they're now their nozzles are always congested and they will not be able, they do not have an appetite to eat. So the first thing, again, you also need to do is make sure that your area that you are keeping your birds is dust-free. If it's dust free, then also helps on making sure that the birds are not affected by this. Some of these is just normal maintenance. It's nothing really to, to use about anything that is very special or any kind of chemicals that you need to do. You just need to make sure that when your chickens come into your fowl run, which you are putting them, they are in a clean environment. And that clean environment is what makes your birds actually grow better. So when this bronchitis hits, you, just, you normally buy what is known as a flu mint which you will get in in most of the um, respiratory it's called respiratory mint 
um, which you then mix in the water. It also then helps for the nozzles to decongest and for them to stop coughing and sneezing. That will actually help them during... This is normally... This normally should not actually affect your broiler birds because your broiler birds, the time that you have them is a very short space of time. So if you have that already kind of happening to you, it means that you really need to look at your way you're keeping them. What is wrong with that area? Are you really disinfecting it after you, you have cleared your batch of chickens? That is something that is very important. Then another disease that actually also affects our broiler chickens is Newcastle disease. But normally Newcastle disease is something that is actually done as soon as they are give, given birth. They actually come from your from your the person who would have been selling them, they would have already become vaccinated for that. But this is a respiratory disease which can then become which then goes into the system. And once it's gone into the system, most likely your birds will start dying and their cause of death is very rapid and that death you really cannot do much about it and the fastest way to only uh, make sure that you control it is by actually getting sure that you vaccinate them. This is that when you will just see that your birds all of a sudden develop weakness in the wings. After they've developed some weakness in the wing, they will they hang, their wings start hanging, they start opening their mouth, breathing, and most likely they will suddenly start dying. And when they die, they will not they start dying in very quick succession, one after the other. That is very that is very, very important that once you start noticing that it means that you have um, you have been affected by Newcastle disease in your in your flock of birds. You need to just make sure that you, at that point in time, it's a vaccination that you will need to then vaccinate all your birds on. But this is normally, that is why you see we do a lot of vaccination in, in our layers because in the layer chicks, Newcastle will definitely be affected because of the time and the length that you keep the birds. Newcastle will, will affect them. And you just need to make sure that you actually give them that um, the, the medication, which is also diluted into water. You get it over the counter. The, um, the doses are quite here yeah, were quite big, but um, you then mix it in water. And after you've mixed it in water, you give them fresh water. And then they drink that water. That is what then helps them with that disease. Another disease that affects these birds is avian influenza if I'm correct, but for us, to make it very simple, again, it is bird flu. Bird flu is another thing that is very, also very sudden. This is very popular. And again, it is, you cannot really, it, it, it happens also very fast that your birds become affected with this. And once they become affected, you just need to make sure that you vaccinate them. And the vaccination, you will also then, go, it's also, you know, if I'm correct, it's called gumburo that you're then vaccinating against them for. But they really do not affect much of the broilers. As I say, broilers, due to the, the time that they spend with you, is a very short period. Is normally, let's, that's why we're saying six weeks. In six weeks, if you, are, if you find yourself being affected by any of these diseases in six weeks' time, it really shows that where you are taking care of the chickens, you really need to look at. Because it again infects the... Um, the lungs of the chi um, of the chickens and after it affected the lungs of the chicken they will have a sudden death and that once you start finding that happening amongst your flock then you are either you know that you have also got bird flu that has been affecting your bird but bird flu is something that you really then need to look at is that the place where you're taking care of your chickens is it clean it's everything up to date and once you do that you should not be affected by this kind of disease this disease should only, normally you will find these diseases in layers, but not in broilers. If you find yourself getting these diseases in broilers, it means that you really, really need to take care, to start looking at where you're keeping them. Because where you're keeping them is the very most important place, because that is what causes some of these diseases. If it's in a place where it's dusty, if it's in a place whereby the, there's a lot of water which is damp, those cause all these diseases. Well, I hope I've been helpful for those people who wanted to know about the, the, the diseases which normally affect broilers. But broilers, hardly we should have much diseases because of the short space of time that we keep them. And having that short space of time means that all we really need to do is make sure that we make sure that the way we keep them is very clean. And I'll always emphasize it being very clean because that is the most important thing for broilers. Broilers need a lot of water and their feet 
to be consistent and to make sure that where they are their bedding is always clean or you just make sure that during the cycle after you've finished your batch you make sure that you actually spray your walls with a disinfectant before you bring in the batch bags well thank you very much for liking thank you very much for subscribing until next time have a good day